Hey guys, Red Eyes here, and I'd like to welcome you back to my single player world. Da -da. Oh yeah, I just couldn't hold out anymore, any longer. And I just wanted to add a quick pre-pre-intro and just mention Half-Life 2. You, some of you may have seen I started playing that. And I really don't care if you watch it. I mean, it's a personal thing. I just wanted to try out different games and get into a different style of LP. Uh, because Minecraft can be a lot of work to get done and you know those kind of FPS games are a lot quicker to get through and also it's just a different style of playing and I want to play more of those kind of games you know I really want to play Prince of Persia different uh, some people have said other games but yeah so I thought that would be a good start and I think that's pretty much all I have to say oh yeah it's more adult too so uh, be warned because I'll be using foul language probably here and there <laughs> Even though I'm not that kind of guy, you know, when you're getting shot at, uh, stuff tends to pop out. But anyways, I hope you enjoy the episode. It's all about silverfish mining. Oh yeah. Okay. And we are back in the single player world. Oh yes, I just couldn't wait anymore. And it's something I really wanted to try as well. Uh, actually continuing it off exactly from the last episode, which was several months ago. And yeah, this first part is actually a voiceover because I made a very new mistake. Noob. <laughs> Noob. And uh, I recorded for about two hours with the microphone off. <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe it. Because I was reloading backups and trying stuff a few times. And uh, yeah, I don't really want to do all that again. But well, I got the footage, so I will show you that. And... Uh, yeah, basically, it's been quite a while, so I'll just recap. I was taking all the silverfish from the end farm, uh, where I have a silverfish farm, not end farm, from the end portal area. And by the way, I still haven't gone through the portal uh, to get to the end. And anyways, I take them through the, uh, through the nether on a super highway, silverfish super highway. And they all stock up. So I had about 600 for the first attempt. And I will show you that now and maybe do some commentary over it. And then for the second attempt, we'll go live because I do have a recent backup of that. Okay. I got a 3x3 hole full of about 600 silverfish. Got my graphics on low so it will run and I'm about to throw some potions. And uh, you'll see what happens. Basically, the silverfish go mad. <laughs> oh yeah, it's kind of funny doing the voiceover for this because I can see what's happening while I'm doing it. So yeah, just throwing a bunch of poison potions because I don't want to kill them. And the tricky bit is if you're too far away, uh, they'll just go into blocks. But if you're too close, then they'll just concentrate on you and they won't dig. So... As you start to go down, it gets very hard because they're attempting to attack you and knock you off the pillar. Uh, I probably should have made a glass pillar so you can see through better. But already you can see the mess it creates. I mean, it's not a clean hole. <laughs> not a clean hole? Sorry, it's a little bit rude, but, you know, it, it's just a mess. But the neat thing is they're not actually dying. I mean, they're still there. And... Uh, so, you know, you can call them back later to do more work for you. And this is something I realized after, was that actually it's a really good way of mining uh, as long as you can control it. And then obviously controlling it is the hard part. Here I'm wearing full diamond protection armor. Uh, I'm being really careful with the ender pearls because I only have about 10 in the world. You know, I haven't been to the end yet, so I don't have a good source of them. And, yeah, I mean, they they dig. You can see we're getting down quite far now. Uh, but as you can tell, they, they can take over. And once they start you to, once they start to get you, it's, it's really hard to get out. So, as I was doing this, I realized that, you know, the problem is they're, they're just going everywhere. And it needs to be more controlled. And one way of doing that is to have a layer that they can't pass through. And a good natural layer that nothing can pass through is, of course, bedrock. And, uh, you know, that makes much more sense, because that way they're going to take away everything they can, except for the uh, ores, basically. 
So you'll be left with all the ores sticking there, and the dirt, and the gravel too. But, uh, yeah, I think you get the idea. Just throwing potions at silverfish as they dig, and, you know, you get fewer and fewer. But most of them are still stuck around in blocks, so you can wake them. Except for, uh, yeah, I'm quite far away from most of them now. So we'll have a look at the damage. You can see what they did. I mean, they don't take it off layer by layer at all. Uh, they just go into random places. And once again, there was about 600 there. Uh, fairly hard for my computer to deal with at the beginning. And uh, yeah, it's just a mess, really. I mean, you can dig it out, but you end up digging out so much that for something like this, you're probably best off using TNT. But you can see there are big blocks of ores. I mean, there was the, there's the coal there, there was some iron above, and there's not any silverfish in those blocks, that's what I was doing there, just checking for silverfish. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's just chaos, really. Um, yep. <laughs> just a big, messy hole that's gonna spawn tons of mobs. And, like I said, I sort of realized it wasn't the best idea to do the mining here. Or to start from so high up, at least. So, I think we'll go live and do the second attempt. Alright, so I hope that voiceover made sense. Uh, really sorry I didn't have my mic on for that. But, uh, yeah, it was basically me just freaking out as I fell into a pile of silverfish. And this is probably going to go the same. So the thing is, you want to be about 10 blocks away from them when you start. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I want to be up there a little bit more. Uh, I can get rid of some of the walls around here so we can see what's going to happen a little bit better, actually. Uh, yeah, do I need that? No, I can get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of that. Because they're not going to move the dirt. I don't want to get rid of that one, though. Maybe get rid of that. Get rid of some of this, and then we'll get a nice view of, uh, of the action. Okay, actually, I'll probably just... Oh, no. There's silverfish everywhere. That's the problem. So, because uh, we're right under where I did my first test, I just blocked off the hole there with some dirt. That means that uh, lots of these blocks are silverfish. So if I were to just stand there and throw the potions... I would get knocked into all the silverfish there, and they would just own me. Oh, actually, let's see, take this away. Hopefully, there's nothing in there. So, yeah. Build a little safe dirt box so that they can't get in. Move back a little bit. Oh, actually, I'll go down and put a little bit of lighting just so it looks, uh, looks better. There, that should help. <laughs> And make sure I got some food. Because, yeah, the first time I did this, they basically took, like, half my armor. Uh, and my helmet is gone. <laughs> oh, almost walked off. <laughs> Properly scared me then. Anyways, so we'll get some potions. And they go for a minute and a half, so I shouldn't need too many. But I want to make sure I get them all. And, oh yeah. So you can see they start digging off in all the different directions there. And actually I can just sort of follow them down a little bit until they calm down. And then slowly start to make my way down. Because as they go into blocks, which is what I want them to do... Uh, actually I just want to again make a little dirt cover. Yeah, I can go down here. Just so I don't get knocked off into the middle. That should do, hopefully. And now I can annoy those guys, and they'll wake everyone up. And there we go, sort of reactivates. As more come out, you can get more to, to follow. And there's no dirt down there, so this is where things start to get dangerous. Uh, that looks safe, it's probably not safe at all. Build a little cover again, just something I can push against. 
And hopefully there's... Oh, I was going to say, hopefully there's nothing in there. <laughs> but there was. And it, I, my pick was too good. So I might as well put some light while I'm down here. And with any luck, one of these two ender pearls will guide me out. It did, but then I walked off. <laughs> oh man, this definitely needs refinement. You need some sort of dirt stack you can you can go down. Oh, it didn't work. Come on guys, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Let me out. How am I gonna do this? Get onto this dirt block, pull her up. Oh, so close. Okay, that's good. Oh. That's not good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on, come on. That's alright, I'm not really freaking out, but in a way I am. Because my health is starting to go down. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, it's alright. It'll one hit kill them. Yeah, so this is the problem. Once you fall in, you're pretty much stuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just not possible. Yeah, and they kill you. Oh, whatever. I think if I go down to the portal, they should still be there. Because I've redone this several times, to be honest, like six, and I started getting... Sort of getting tired of it. Oh yeah, and my bed was blown up by a creeper. <laughs> I was camping out with silverfish. I woke up and there was a creeper on my bed. Anyways, here we are back at the base. Mushrooms there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any potions around here. So I'll probably go back to the silverfish farm. Uh, Bew a few. Really can't talk anymore. Brew a few of those potions. And. Oh, actually, I need some spider eyes. Um, but I don't have any weapons on me. I was going to say there's a spider farm I'm working on under my feet there, but uh, yeah. I guess it's best to go to the end farm for now, make some more potions. And the silverfish should still be there when we get back. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, so one of the nice things about single player, uh, I guess sort of like what I was trying to do with the blaze farm, or what I'm doing with the blaze farm in uh, Hermitcraft, is I have control over which chunks are loaded and which aren't. So I can do stuff like this. I can have these crazy silverfish farms. And I know they're all alive somewhere, but they're not alive in any chunks that are loaded. So I'm not really worried about losing them. And, uh, yeah, there's some more coming here. I'm going to block this off here. Uh, I don't know if I showed you this. The way it works is I've got these four portals on each side, just for looks. And there's pistons under. So when I extend the pistons, the silverfish can't go through the portal, and when I lower it, they can. Uh, it does trap a lot of pigmen, too. <laughs> and uh, there's this creeper who's been here for a long time. So I decided to put him in a jar. <laughs> yeah, he was just standing on a block up there. So I built a little glass case and then knocked the block out and he fell down. And there he is. And because I only load these chunks when I come here, and he doesn't despawn. And there's even a silverfish too. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty cool as well. Nice thing about having control over the chunks. And he seems very indignant. He's like, yeah, I don't even want to look at you. Trap me in this little box with this annoying silverfish. I'm going to float in the air. Is he floating? It does look like he's floating. <laughs> Anyways, uh, potions, potions, potions. Oh, I got a few spider eyes. I can brew a few more. So just while the potions are here, 
Uh, one of the problems I've noticed here is... Uh, well, basically, I want to split the silverfish into two groups. Because if I AFK for too long, then I can end up with too many silverfish. And then when I try and take them through the nether, about half of them die. Like if there's... I think I tried taking 400 through at once, and at the end I only had about 200. Whereas if I take about 100, I get through with about 80. So it's a much lower uh, loss rate. So by splitting them into two, if I only want to send half through, you know, I just check F3 and there's 13 in there, uh, 30 in there. So I can choose sort of how many I want to go through. But as you can see, they really fight the water a lot. And that's a problem because they're too close to the spawner above there. Uh, hold on, just need to get these potions going still. I'm gonna go poison, put poison, and I think I want redstone for uh, extended poison. And that way I get the most bang for my buck. And also, let's see what else am I gonna need. I'm sure I had some gunpowder. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so let's just see. Let's just go up to the spawner very quickly. Have a quick look. And try and figure it out. Spawner is there. I really like this design because you can just watch them spawn. And you don't have to worry about them coming out. Uh, but let's see, they fall one, two... There are only three blocks below in the water there, and they should be down to like six or five, I think, for this kind of spawner. Uh, so yeah, this does need to be changed a bit, because I, I think the spawn rates are slowed by the fact that they hang about in this water stream here for too long. And apart from that, yeah, I still haven't been through the end portal, still haven't fought the dragon. Uh, so that is definitely on the to-do list haven't been in this at all in the, what's it called, the stronghold. I've only poked my nose through to have a very quick peek. So still lots to do around here. Anyways, these are ready. So I think we'll just take them. Uh, maybe make some armor, get some food, and head back to the uh, mining operation. Alright, see you later little fishies. See you later, Mr. C. <laughs> I probably need a better name, though. If you got one, let me know. Because he's going to be here for quite a while. <laughs> probably until I go to the Mushroom Island, and then the uh, chunks will get loaded, and everything here will despawn. But uh, until then, there's no reason for him to go away. And these guys... Well, there's not many. I'll just leave them there. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know why they die along here. I mean, for most of the way, they seem to be okay. I've, I've gone through, I've blocked most of it off. Although there is lots of glass blocks. I've just realized the Optifine glass is pretty nice without all the, uh, you know, really highly visible uh, borders in between it. But where there's some torches along here, I think a lot of them died around here. So, probably have to go under there and reinforce everything here as well. And this is all areas where it's... Well, I don't know why it would be here, actually, because over there it's floating in the air as well. Here it's floating in the air. It must just be the difference of, like, one or two blocks, which allows them to pop through or suffocate more. Yeah, I don't know. But the rest of it seems to be working okay. Still a mess down here, of course. And, uh, yeah, so just make our way down here. And, oh no, I don't want to go through this. Oh yeah, I do. I moved the portals. That's okay. I was going to say I was going to end up at a portal which was up at sea level. And actually, I don't want to do that. Okay, so there they are. Let's just keep this going. Of course, all my armor's down there. If, I, if I'm quick enough, it shouldn't despawn. 
No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Straight away. Oh, such a chump. Come on, at least give me that. Oh. I'm, I'm going to end up killing myself. Oh, dear. Well, I'll try and get back again. I think I'm done with the backups. Oh, there's bedrock. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right. I realized what I had to do. Uh, I'm not going to make any more potions this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it down naturally and let the workers have a nap. I'm not going to kill them all because I want to be able to uh, get them to dig more in the future. So essentially all I have to do is nothing. I just have to get close enough and they will start to... well I don't want to be too far away because then, then they'll despawn. Let's see, we'll go down here and what they should do is they should just go into blocks. See they'll all just find their way into blocks. And then I can get my stuff. As long as none of them get me. <laughs> I think I'm okay. Probably should have brought at least one block. I got two. Go on. Enough for today. Enough mining. Hmm. Okay, there's some dirt there. Yeah, I don't really want to get more than 20 blocks away. Or any closer than 10. So it's quite a specific area. There you can see they're going away. Okay. And now we just listen for the sounds to stop. And then we'll be safe. Okay, again, very calm. Nice and calm. Calm, calm, calm. Okay, I don't hear any more now. Oh, there are a few around now. Okay, I think the rest of them I should be able to get them one hit with my sword. But I want to get any of my stuff that's around here. Yeah. Deal with that sharpness four. <laughs> that's total overkill. Uh, I doubt I'm going to get my armor back. What? Uh -oh. Hmm. Yeah, that stuff was sort of spread out. I think the bow was over here. Uh. Yeah, well. Okay, I don't know. Where could it be? Where could it be? Okay, I I think it's gone. It was almost dead anyways. I guess, uh, yeah. Hmm. I guess it was worth it for the experiment. But anyways, okay, now we're going to have a look around and see the potential of this genius idea. Uh, look, gold, iron, redstone, redstone, iron, gold, redstone... Uh, it's the same gold as before. So basically you can reveal all the ores. So what I should have done is started it right down here. Uh, just above bedrock. Like maybe made the portal up uh, just up here. And then they would have just spread out. Because they, they can't go up, right? Or maybe they can somehow. But they're less likely to go up, at least I'll say. And that way you can sort of get them to spread out in a whole area and remember that they're all still here as well they're just hidden in blocks so when I want to get my army out again I can just summon them with some poisons you know knock open a few blocks and start to get more and more coming through and yeah although it is still a total mess 
But I think I really do think there is potential in this idea. It just takes it will take a lot of testing and uh, figuring out. And I'll definitely be trying it again because you know they did it pretty quick as well. All of this got dug out in what two minutes? I mean that's like TNT speed there. Well, not really, but you don't destroy anything. You don't destroy your ores. So silverfish mining. Oh, there's even more redstone there. More iron. Yeah, I'm into it. It's my, my kind of idea. But, yeah, so I don't know if anyone wants to test this. <laughs> I doubt anyone has it all set up in single player, but you, you can certainly try it in the creative. Uh, get us a, a uh, what's it called, a portal, and just have it at around level maybe eight, nine. And just, yeah, let them loose. The more the merrier and see what happens. And if you do, post a video response. That would be cool. Right, I think I'm going back to the base, though. I've had enough. I've suffered enough for today. <laughs> ah, all right. It feels good to be home. <laughs> So I think my uh, diamond armor might have just died or something like that. But I did retrieve my sword, another pick, and a bow. Oh, it was only power one bow though, so not too important. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll be, you know, getting back into my single player. Uh, yeah, just really waiting for 1.5, but I wanted to get this done. Uh, because I wanted to. Basically, I've been thinking about it for so long. I was I just keep on thinking 1.5 will be like, oh, it'll be out in a few days, it'll be out in a few days. And it hasn't, and there's, you know, problems with the lighting engine as well. So by being in 1.4 with Optifine, then I know everything's running good. Uh, yeah, but anyways, there's <laughs> so much to do around here, so much to replace. But yeah, that will all happen in good time. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Oh, I think we'll run into the sunset for a nice epic ending. And that will be nice. Or actually, let's go up. Go up on the hill. Oh, I don't have any ender pearls. <laughs> I think that's one of the first priorities is to get some ender pearls. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>